Zootopia Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting your thumb and ring nails with a light gray, your index nail white, and your middle and pinky nails with a light pink French tip background or a shimmery color or even just base coat would be fine. So now on my index nail with bright green paint, I'm going to be painting the word Zootopia and I'm going to start with the T in about the middle of the nail. And the reason I'm starting with the T is because that is, when you look at the logo, it's about in the center of the word. And so that way I know I've got the right amount of space for the O-P-I-A and for the O-O-Z. So I know I have an even amount of space in front of and below, or in front of and behind the T for the rest of the word. So their logo is sort of a gradate, a gradient between blue and green. So now I'm going to be blending some blue up into the letters. So the bottoms of them are blue and then they fade into green. And the way you do this is first you paint one color. I use green. Um, if you wanted to start with blue, that would be fine. You just then blend the green on the top and then you paint a little bit of the color on the bottom of the letter and then you dip your brush in water and blend it out. And because this really is so small, it doesn't have to be a perfect smooth gradient. It can be a little bit imperfect and it's really not going to show at all, especially once you add top coat. So now with black paint, I'm going to be doing a partial outline on my letters. So I'm going to outline one side and the bottom. So before you start, decide what areas you want to have the highlight, I mean the low light, the underline. And so it's uniform across all of your letters. So now on your ring nail with orange, red, brown, and a cream tone paint, I'm going to be painting Nick Wilde's face. So I'm going to start and I'm using orange and I'm just going to base out his face shape. And I'm starting with orange because that's the main color that I'm using. But then when I blend in the other colors, it really comes to life. So now I'm going to start and I'm going to blend in some red. And then add some brown and as you can see i had too much brown on my brush so i just wiped some off on on my cuticle i can wash that off later so i'm the tips of his ears is where most of that brown is going to be but then i'm also going to add some more brown in the shadows of his face so in his eye sockets and then i'm going to do some highlighting up the bridge of his nose and i'm going to his his um mouth area and his cheeks are a white color so that's where I'm adding the white and then inside his ears and then his eyes themselves are also white so now with dark green I'm going to be adding a circle in each eye and I'm going to be adding some details with black, so I'm going to start with his nose. And then add his smile. Do some outlining of his eyes and add some add his pupils. and then do the final outline around the perimeter of his face. So then with brown, I'm going to be adding his eyebrows and then adding a few spots on his cheeks for where his whiskers would be. So now with a bright green paint, I'm going to be adding his shirt. And this is the same color that I used when I painted the Zootopia before. And then I'm going to be outlining his shirt just to define those details. And so I'm going to be adding the collar of his shirt now. On my thumb with white and black paint, I'm going to be adding the basic shape of Judy Hopp's face. So I'm going to start with the white and then I will darken it with gray or with black, I mean. So then I'm going to add her ears.
So with the black right there, I just painted the black where I knew the darker areas of her face were, and then I went through and I blended it out. And like Nick, she's got a lighter section of fur right around her mouth area. So make sure you lighten it there, shadow her neck. And I know that it's a little bit more difficult to see her face against the gray background, um, but once I outline it in the very end, it all pops to life and you can see it just fine. And also blend in a little bit of pink into the center of each ear and then also onto her nose. Add her eyes with white. Her nose with pink and then a little bit of pink around where her mouth is. So now I'm going to be adding lavender in each eye. And now I'm going to be outlining her features and adding some black details. So I'm going to start with her eyes. And then do some outlining around her mouth and nose. And you can't forget to add her eyelashes. And when you're outlining, it really helps to have a little bit of water in your brush just to thin the paint out, enough that it makes it a little bit easier to use and also have a very minimal amount of paint on your brush. The more paint you have on your brush, the thicker your lines are gonna be. So if you have just a small, small amount of paint, you're gonna have thinner, easier to control lines. So I'm gonna be painting her shirt with blue and then outlining it. On my middle and pinky nail, I'm going to be painting, or I'm adding a French tip guide, and I'm actually using a whole reinforcement sticker for this. These are my favorite things to use as French tip guides. I think they work fabulously. And then painting the tip of my nail white. And normally when you do something like this, you'd wanna pull off that um, French tip guide right away so that it doesn't mess up the polish, but since I'm adding a gradient on top of it, then I want to leave that on so I don't get any of that gradient where it shouldn't be. So sponge on a green to blue gradient, add a second coat, and then you can remove that guide. And now I'm going to be outlining my smile line with a layer of white paint. And of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!